Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing yeah, 4,000 like, bucks. There's Doug, but I didn't save Doug. Last. Yeah, I mean, the game is really old, too, oh, wow. so you there might be some options um, Had a guy who did, yeah. that are messed up. I don't know. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I, I mean, thought I saw y'all with company coming down the what drive. What year did it come out? Guys, what, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military that's experience. That's still seven years well, ago. that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Fucking Doug, I hate him so much. Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. You fucking Not without zoomer. a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Um, Hopefully games Nadelle have changed will make it this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet. We could bring her here. For example, the settings menu out. on PC at least a for vet? this game is not that oh, great. Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure this place is safe Before first. we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, <laughs> but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. <laughs> and checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. All right. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did it break? Got busted the first day those things, things showed, showed up. up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. 
Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. That's right. Grab onto this wire. It could be the rope we need. <laughs> okay. So I can't go over there. There's nothing over there, I guess. You guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? No one fucks with us. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Thanks for appreciating it. Um... An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest That's thing sadistic. to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. That is sinister. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Wait. I didn't think that would... I wanted to fix the, the swing. That's kind of messed up. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such Everyone a pain but Larry. in the ass yeah, if you weren't telling Larry. him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. What? <laughs> he tried to kill me! There's one. Ugh. It's pretty hot. Lee, it's Fucking dead. Fucking kicked its shin. Come on, let's push it off. And he said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. That's hot. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh. Smart choices in the axe. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. 
Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Yeah, some cool reactions, but... I don't know. Uh, no other options, so... That's all. Things alive, I bet. Oh. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. There we go. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I gave the food to the kids too. What what are you talking about? I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee. You know, you can wait a fucking second, dude. I'm inspecting the scenario. Q Q Q Q Q Q. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> what the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! In hand forever! Did you really think you were fucking that? Now we'll take what we want! Alright, cool. Now we push it. What about our arrangement? No fuel! Of course. Can't lure me out! Get this fucking off. I can do this! I can do the Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit that hurts! What? Stop calling me asshole! I already got one of you! Where's our food, you asshole? What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move. Get him out of there! Get him out of there. Another one? How many of those things did we, we push down? Two. Stopping you from chasing us. You saw we went through the gate. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, the uh, electric 
electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be yeah, all right. Yeah, those with bastards this. in the woods, mama. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? What? Yeah, I'm fine. What's it fucking look I like? Just he got shot. Oh, in no, the honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to oh get Oh my god, Larry, I fucking we... hate you. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Hmm. Fucking moving in on my turf. Hey, dipshit. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Yeah. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? No, he's been fucking lucky dead. lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. Yeah, especially since All you right, fear impaled your that's fucking enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. They look happy. <laughs> 
They look happy. Hope Mark is okay in there. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Wow, you think? If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Well, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Do cows eat hay? Stupid question. I've never seen that before. Yo, what's up, bitch? Yo, what's up, bigger bitch? Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. God. How could you all bring us to this place? God damn. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Yeah. Bitch. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Your dad tried to fucking kill me. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. <laughs> and it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Yeah, but Kenny's a fucking idiot for wanting to protect his family. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's God. right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. The first chance I get, you're fucking dead, Larry. The first chance. Lots of hay. Ugh. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Alright, something's ambiguous about this fucking barn. Mm. 
if there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. You're not even, you're not even gonna open it? Okay, dude. No. Yeah. 